ओके सो हेलो गाइज सो फ्रॉम नाउ नम गोइंग टू अपलोड सम वीडियोज ऑन माई चैनल बेस्ड ऑन पाइथन लैंग्वेज सो बेसिकली यू कैन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड पाइथन फ्रॉम दीज वीडियोज सो फॉर दैट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक इट अ सीरीज यू कैन से अ प्ले लिस्ट एक्चुअली सो दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दैन सो द फर्स्ट वीडियो विल बी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पाइथन सो बेसिकली हाउ वॉज पाइथन ओरिजिनेटेड एंड ऑल एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द सॉफ्टवेयर एंड बेसिकली वॉट आर द सॉफ्टवेयर वॉट आर सॉफ्टवेयर यू कैन यूज फॉर पाइथन फॉर कोडिंग इन पाइथन एंड विच आई प्रेफर इज द बेस्ट एंड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस सी वॉट इज पाइथन सो पाइथन यू कैन एक्चुअली यू कैन थिंक इट इज नेम ऑफ अ स्नेक ऑफकोर्स बट सी एक्चुअली द थिंग इज पाइथन वॉज रिलीज इन आई थिंक इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एंड द क्रिएटर वॉज वीडो वैन रॉसम एंड इट वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नदरलैंड सो एक्चुअली देर वॉज अ बीबीसी कॉमेडी टी वी शो अपेरेंटली विथ हूज नेम वॉज मॉन्टी पाइथन फ्लाइंग सर्कस सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई थिंक द क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस लैंग्वेज लाइक दैट शो दैट्स वाई ही नेम्ड इट आफ्टर दैट पाइथन दैट्स वाई द नेम इज पाइथन इट्स सो इट्स नॉट रिलेटेड टू एनी स्नेक एंड ऑल इट्स जस्ट you can say he liked that so that's why we named it after it we, de- we never know actually so first of all see there are many softwares you can u- that you can use so there are many softwares like jupiter notebook spider then pycharm ideally and many things so basically personally i like pycharm because see since whenever i have started coding i for python actually i always used pycharm from the first so i'm comfortable in it so i use it you can use any software that you want that is if you are comfortable with id ideally you can use it because you need to be comfortable that's it otherwise it doesn't matter actually so i'll be showing you all how to install pycharm in this video so i have two setups pycharm and this one also but i like pycharm so i am going to show pycharm to you in this video so for installing pycharm just go to google as usual and py- type pycharm and when you go to pycharm see uh, the, the, there's this company called jet brains who is the manufacturer you can say who provides pycharm so for downloading it just click on this icon download and see uh, here is for windows download here is mac and here is linux so if you are i'm using i'm using windows that's why i'll use windows and see there are two types professional and community so professional is actually a paid version you can use it for free but it is just for a trial so instead you can use i use community version for now so and see it is free and open source so it is obviously nice it is free that's why obviously Uh, okay after clicking on it you can you will get redirected to this download section you can download it wherever you want so i don't have to download it i'll just cancel because i have downloaded it already see here so this is the setup of pycharm that i'm using uh, so click on next and install wherever you want this is default in c drive so it's fine with me see i'll have to select a folder so when i go in c I'll just type pycharm. Okay, and okay. Next, you can use. I want to create a desktop, but but that's why okay, okay fine. And just next, JetBrains. Okay, and install it. That's it. So we'll wait for it to install now. Okay, it's done. So just click on finish. So it's installed, and I got this icon as well. If you don't get any icon, just uh, press start and type pycharm. You'll get the icon. See, this is the app actually. So you can just click on it, and if you're coding it, coding in pycharm a lot, just keep an icon on desktop. It will be more easier actually. So just open it. Okay. So this is my previous project. So it, all the previous history got loaded. All my projects got loaded. But if you are new to this language, then all these projects will not get loaded actually. So to start a new project, they'll just give you some options. So for that, see, just click on file. Or actually, if you are new, then they'll just give a dialog box, and there will be an option called new project. So you can just type new project. and wherever you want to save the project you can change the location as well by clicking on this icon so okay so i'll just go in practice and i'll just create a new folder suppose adi okay and i'll just click on okay and i can create a folder now a uh, project now so i'll just uh, open this new project in this new window now so it takes time to build a new project okay i think it's done okay okay now it's 
then i think yeah now see here's the part when you want to create a specific file for coding you can say so just uh, this is my path right in this folder i have to save it so i'll just right click on it rather open it just right click and click on new so in new there are many options right and this directory means normal folder you can say directory is basically a folder right so i don't want to create a new folder for that now so i want a python file to be created for coding right so i'll just click on python file they'll ask a name so what do you want to name it so i'll just write trial suppose i want to name it as trial okay and i clicked uh, and i press enter and see this this file has come trial.py .py is an extension for python files right so in this way you just have to install it and basically start a new project and open a python coding file you can say with a py py extension and afterwards we'll we'll actually see in the next video how to code and all but this was the basic video and one more thing uh, so this is the this is these are all many projects that i have used actually for python so you can open as many files as you want at a single time so see i just click on them and just they open see these are all my project files that i used before when i was coding on hacker rank for python so you can just access them by using these tabs it's really easy so multi purpose you can say and one more thing i forgot to tell you all about books so if you want to read some books about python so there are many online books that are free so i randomly googled one book and i got this book for it is free actually you can download it so i'll be uh, putting its link uh, google drive link in the descri description below you can access it it is free it is a free book you can use it and also if you want to purchase any book so in india if you are in india so i used rima tereja because it is an oxford publication so i thought it is really good book for for the first time for a beginner i'm not saying it does not have any mistakes it has some mistakes but it is a good book for beginners you can understand really well from it uh, and you can use nageshwara rao as well you can use any book for purchasing and for free you can get as many books as you want from google that's it okay thank you